Hello. Hey. Right. When you're in the cowley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you filming? No. Oh, right. uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, now, uh, do you know? Please. Okay. Uh, the, 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 uh, as most of you know, the dispute with the Cafe Bar Italia, which is like uh, up the street, uh, is that he owed money to the worker, he owed the holiday entitlement and hours that was in the contract. Even he has not worked that hours. Uh, are in the contract, uh, so we, we are asking for that. We posted the area on Friday night with the A4 versions of the leaflet. He's in calcitrant, he's not moving. He phones the police every time we turn up. And the police came and were really friendly to the staff. Yes. How, long, how long do you think you have been staying here? Uh, probably one, two hours. One or two hours? Yeah. Okay. And he even asked the police if we could move from next to his doorway with the banner. Uh, the officer radioed his sergeant at the station. The sergeant says, no, you've got no legal enforcement. You can't legally enforce people not to... Even though the cafe owners hire that part of the payment from the council, we can still stand there. We, we, we know that we cannot prevent anybody to go No, 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 that's fine. You've got a right to protest. That's fine. Yes, yes, yes. But... Which is good, we found that out. Yeah, that Which is a valuable bit of information. This is the whole video. So, so, can you just get it on record that Soul Fed officially loves the police then? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we, we will go on with, with the actions, and uh, the most important is let him know that uh, this won't finish unless uh, you know, he, he, he decides to pay. We will be around the area giving information to the customers. The only thing is we cannot block the entrance and we cannot block the path. Uh, as far as we are complete with that, uh, <coughs> the police cannot say anything any, anything to us. Oh, there is another point. I've got uh, some actually. We want to go inside to try to talk with the boss. You don't mind? He, he, he will just kick you out and threaten to find the police. That's yeah. what he's done every time so far. You can do? Do you want us to go in straight away? Yeah. Yeah. He just, he had just, last time I did it, were you here last time? Not last time. Last time he just, he actually got quite aggressive last time. Yeah. So let him, yeah. So, Unfortunately, Miguel's not down here. Yeah, Miguel's not here. So, Miguel, who is the man who phones the police whenever we turn up and who we approach to try and negotiate with and then phones the police and chucks us out, he's not actually the owner, he's the bar manager. So I don't know who the actual owners are. And we've gone in and asked for the owner's contact details. But she, I did press her on it again later on and uh, unfortunately she didn't give me any further details about who the owners were. And the worker who's working behind the counter phoned up the manager, Miguel, and he, it's his day off and he said he might come in. <laughs> so sure, if we, we can, can find them. Actually, That's possible, isn't it? Um, yeah. If we can speak to the owners, get them down to talk to us here on the street, then we might have some success in uh, getting some social justice here. We'd like to speak to Miguel now to try and get the owner's contact details. So they won't give them to you? No. Well, I, I mean, to be fair, it's just one, I think there's just one worker behind the counter in there. But the workers knew who we were, and they were happy for us to be out here. So I, I suppose it's up to Miguel to give us the um, owner's number. But uh, obviously that's where the power lies, not necessarily Miguel, but Miguel's a key link in that particular uh, food chain of um, capitalism. And these are just workers? Yeah, just workers here, but they said, uh, no, we know who you are, it's okay, thank you. Miguel's a good guy. So when people are saying he's a nice guy, they're referring to Miguel or the owner? Miguel. Miguel. Manager? Yeah. This is a very genuine, kind man, and he helps people outside of work, he, he, and you're saying he, that... Well, we're not debating whether he's a good guy, we're just saying he owes his work money and he should be paying it. I think most people are shocked when they hear that you know somebody can be owed that sort of money. And that this guy just said, oh, it's like stealing, and it's like, well, yeah, it is stealing, you know. Yeah, 
there's a few around that do that, isn't there? Yeah, unfortunately yeah. there is quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We do sometimes use that one. I'm not aware that it was a problem. No, maybe it wasn't. If there is, reason, I'm not going to go no. in there until they sort of yeah. I've just walked a mile to come yeah. to this coffee shop. One mile, I just walked to come to the coffee shop. I'm not going there. Okay. Thank you very much. If it hits them in the pocket, they'll, they'll change well, their mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, there's been one or two kind of slightly hostile things, you know. But why do you stand outside his cafe and judge him because before anything's even been gone to court or anything? We have come before a lot of times to try to talk to him, to try to have a negotiation. Uh, actually, yesterday we ha uh, he arranged a meeting with us, and two hours before uh, she told us that he don't want to to meet, uh, to meet anymore. But mostly people are we'll sort of supportive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Okay, yeah. Well done, well done. Keep at it. Keep at it. <laughs> well, good luck, and thanks. Thank you. Very much. Well, no, one woman said, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna boycott it, you know, you make bankrupt and they won't get their money. But I, I just said, well, they're not getting their money anyway. So what can you do? But she then said about her son on uh, he's on a, an apprenticeship and he's in his second year. And he was just getting the apprenticeship minimum wage, but apparently in your second year you're meant to get the full minimum wage. And it's only because somebody told her that that he was able to get it. So that, and that's Suzuki, you know. So it's happening everywhere, this sort of thing. You know. People could actually do this more for low paid workers <laughs> in different sectors as well. Just to make a protest about pay. What, what, it, how, what we take from it, it sends a message to them. You know, that if people do want to organise, they can and they can win.